this effigy is placed at the feet of this 40-foot owl structure that's covered in moss and leaves, and it is set afire. And so is immolated the cares of the world, and so is sealed a bond of privacy among members. In this video, we will explore the mystery of Bohemian Grove. Is it a satanic cult or just a fancy retreat for the influentials to gather annually? Established over a century ago in San Francisco, the Bohemian Club is located on Bohemian Drive in Monterio, California. This exclusive campground is ultra secretive. No phones or gadgets allowed, keeping everything hidden, and only the elite members know what goes on here. Join us as we dig into Bohemian Grove, sorting out the facts, rumors, and legendary stories. Stick around until the end because you wouldn't want to miss what happens behind all the secrecy. Bohemian Grove stretches across a vast area of 2,700 acres. Since its beginning, it has served as a meeting place for the world's most powerful and influential men, sparking rumors of secret ceremonies and grand parties. This place is highly exclusive, and only the top 1% of members share its secrets, if they talk about it at all. Until its exposure in 2000, many people had no idea it existed, but now the curiosity is at its utmost level. Interestingly, while men are the main members, Women and children can join as guests of important male members. However, there's a catch. During certain times, they must leave by 9 p.m. each day. Strange, isn't it? It is said that for two whole weeks, every June or July, the world's richest and most powerful men gather here. And what do they do? Engage in strange rituals right in the middle of the Redwood Forest. These ideas, although they often spread widely, especially on the internet, have become more strange and potentially illegal. Many worry about the reported involvement of ex-US presidents, which stirs up talk about secret groups like the Illuminati and the Skull and Bones Society, hinting at hidden control and influence. Brace yourselves because there are some things that we know about this place, for sure. The Grove features several gathering spots, each with its unique charm. One such venue is the Grove Stage, an expansive amphitheater accommodating 2,000 attendees. This stage is primarily utilized for the Grove Play production, held during the final weekend of the Midsummer Retreat. With its stage extending up the hillside, it offers an incredible setting for performances. Adjacent to the Grove stage is the Field Circle, shaped like a bowl, serving as an amphitheater for various events. These include the Mid-Encampment Low Jinx Musical Comedy and the Spring Jinx, held in early June. Additionally, it hosts a variety of other shows throughout the year, providing entertainment for all. For smaller gatherings, there's the Campfire Circle. The museum stage is good for talks and small performances. The Dining Circle seats 1,500 people and is perfect for communal meals and conversations. The Clubhouse, built in 1903, is a historic hub for dining and entertainment. Finally, the Owl Shrine and Lake provides scenic backdrops for events like concerts and the solemn cremation of care ceremony, along with daily lakeside talks led by notable speakers. However, all these luxurious features aren't visible to the normal public. The thick redwood forest, where Bohemian Grove is located, provides natural cover with its tall trees, hiding what happens inside. Adding to the secrecy are many cameras and guards spread across the campground. Electronics and other devices are not allowed, keeping everything private. Every entrance and exit is watched, with guards making sure only certain people come and go. Plus, the Secret Service and local police fully protect Bohemian Grove and its members, showing how serious they are about keeping things secret and secure. So why all the secrecy surrounding what seems like a regular camping trip for powerful men? Well, let's rewind to 1872, when this secret club was started by Henry Harry Edwards. Since 1878, members of the Bohemian Club have been meeting for a two-week summer party at the Grove. In 1899, they went a step further by purchasing the campground, making sure it was exclusively theirs. Mostly made up of Republicans with conservative beliefs, the club's motto, taken from Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream, sets the tone, weaving spiders come not here. The influentials claim that no weird business is being conducted here. However, skeptics still wonder, what do the most influential men in the country, if not the world, really talk about during their secret gatherings? 
Some people think that Bohemian Grove's important members meet to influence not only their country, but the whole world. It's said that secret groups like the Illuminati gather here to plan taking over the world and talk about terrible situations. It's also said that media members are there to help spread this idea through news and social media. In 2000, Alex Jones secretly entered Bohemian Grove with a camera, capturing what he described as odd behavior by the VIP guests. Jones later revealed that he had learned from confidential reports that these men discussed ways to control the population. After this information came out, it got people wondering, why were these men discussing population control? Were they deciding who survives and who doesn't? Jones reported that after he stopped filming, a member of the Sonoma County Sheriff's Office approached him, asking why he was recording. He also claimed there were hidden cameras around the grove, unseen to the naked eye. But this wasn't everything. Jones also recorded a strange event named the Cremation of Care, supposedly held each year since 1980 to start two weeks of ceremonies in the Redwood Forest. During this ritual, men in red robes carry torches, while others transport an effigy named Care in a coffin-like box made of wood. Surprisingly, Care turns out to be nothing but a wooden skeleton filled with straw. The participants then present this skeleton at the center of a stage overlooking a vast lake surrounded by an all-male audience. Hovering over the spectacle is a towering owl structure contributing to the scary ambience. Now why the owl, you might wonder? Well, if you examine the dollar one bill closely, you'll notice an owl peeking out from the edge. Could this owl symbolize the secret society associated with Bohemian Grove? And if so, why is it featured in the U.S. currency? It is rumored that many, if not all, attendees of this annual gathering display owl symbols in their homes, hinting at its significance. But what does it represent? Some think that these men hold the owl in honor and respect. During the ceremony, statues and figures are placed below the owl statues. Then, other members come out dressed as tree spirits, urging onlookers to forget their worries. As they sing and dance, they burn the effigy at an altar. Considering no women or children are allowed at the grove during this retreat, let's talk about the entertainment known as high jinks and low jinks. Here, some men dress up as women and other characters to perform plays that are often crude and offensive. These plays are performed for the other members of the audience, with the main aim supposedly being to degrade women. It's quite surprising to imagine these powerful and wealthy men participating in such inappropriate performances for their peers each year, right? These are just a few things that people say happen at Bohemian Grove, but we might never know everything members do because they keep it super private during their yearly getaway in the Redwood Forest. Now, what do you think about all this? Is Bohemian Grove a satanic cult? Or is it just an exclusive place these influentials have created for themselves to feel special? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more intriguing and secretive content like this.